Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're gonna have a very short and sweet video um, about the Champions League draw. Um, look, even I personally still don't really understand too much about the format of this new Champions League. I'll try my best. Um, to talk about it, but it is very, very complicated as compared to the usual group stages, top two teams go through, third team goes into the Europa League, top two teams, eight groups of two, 16, and then quarterfinals, semifinals, final. It's simple. That is simple. That is what the Champions League has always been about. The simplistic side of it um, and the nostalgic. The nostalgia that you know that it is but this season will be the first season whereby the format is going to change it's going to be a lot different it's not going to be by eight groups of two it's going to be one whole league of what's it 36 so it's going to be very interesting we'll get on to that we'll get on to that but let's talk about the draws right i'll talk about the pot one teams first and then we'll have a bit of a deeper dive into the other teams who are in the other pots but the pot one teams um it's looking it's looking very very interesting now look real madrid channel real madrid fan let's talk about real madrid because i want to know how people feel about these draws you know if your team's on here if you're a real madrid fan let me know what your thoughts are about your teams but Real Madrid first up I don't think this is in order so the games are obviously not going to be um, in order to you know um, fixture lease is not out yet but this is just a bit of um, an overview on who Real Madrid will play so Dortmund at home Liverpool away now this is a very very big game that I'm looking forward to. Anfield, the last time Real Madrid went there, um, yeah, we know what happened. Milan at home, Atlanta away, so we are going to get to play Atlanta again. Salzburg at home, Lille away, Stuttgart at home, and Brest away. I would say I'm content. I would say I'm content. Look, Away games, every away game against any side is always tough, right? Enfield will be a very, very, very big and tough test. Atlanta away in Bergamo will be an interesting game. And two trips away to France with Lille and Brest. But it could be worse. You know, in terms of, look, it could be worse than Lille, it could be worse than Brest, it could be worse than Atlanta. And I think Liverpool is one of the worst ones to get. So, I'm happy with that. Out of 10, probably a solid 7.5 out of 10 in terms of happiness. It could be better, but, you know, you're not going to get the easy ones. You know, you probably you probably would rather, you know, Leipzig over Liverpool away or something like that. But, we won't complain too much about that because, you know, it could have been a Man City, a Bayern, a PSG. Even a Barca. I don't think we can get Barca, can we? So, yeah. In terms of that, very, very content, in a sense. Um, you know what? Man City, Inter, PSG, Juventus. It's okay. It's not too bad. They've got a somewhat easy draw there. Bayern with PSG, Barcelona, and interestingly, Aston Villa away. You know, Villa Park. Aston Villa hosting Bayern Munich. It's going to be <laughs> one hell of a game for sure. Um, PSG, I mean, this is the talking point, isn't it? Man City, Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid and Arsenal. Good luck. And I, I mean, Girona and Stuttgart are going to be tough. Certainly. Liverpool getting Real Madrid. Leipzig, Leverkusen, Milan. Again, um, Inter getting Man City there away from home. 
Arsenal at home, Leverkusen away. Yeah, Dortmund getting both Barcelona and Real Madrid. That's really about it. I think Dortmund have got a good, good chunk of games here. You know, um, Leipzig with Liverpool, Inter, Juventus, and Atletico Madrid, and Aston Villa. You know what? Leipzig is not looking good, bro. And Barcelona getting Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Atlanta, and you know even like a Monaco away will be tough. So, yeah, that's for the pot one teams. I think winners, Inter. They'll probably be the happiest. Losers, I'm sorry. But I'm looking at Leipzig and I'm going, damn. Damn. That is pretty rough. Because these four sets are good. I think Celtic away is tough. Always going to be a tough game to go to. And I think Villa at home will be tough. But that's that for the Port 1 games. You can't really see it that well, but I'll run through them. You know, Leverkusen getting into Milan, Liverpool, um, Milan, and Atletico Madrid. Pretty tough. Atletico Madrid getting Leipzig, PSG, and Leverkusen. Um, pretty decent, actually. Um, Atalanta getting Real Madrid, Barcelona, Arsenal. Um, Juve. With Man City and Aston Villa. Not too shabby for Juventus. Um, and even teams like, you know, this side. Um, I think Slovenia, Bratislava, isn't it? Or something. Well, I don't know what their name is. But they have Man City, Bayern, Milan, Atletico, Celtic away, and Girona away. Good luck. Yeah. But look. Pretty, pretty pretty decent um but we'll get on to the format right we'll get on to the format um now look the rules of the game of the tournament i don't know what's going to be different in terms of the rules i don't know but the format is this 36 teams in this league now if i'm not wrong obviously each team plays eight games uh, two from each pot, one home and one away. So, for example, Real Madrid, the two pot one teams we got was Dortmund and Liverpool, one home, one away. Pot two teams were Milan and Atalanta, one home, one away. And then Salzburg, Lille, one home, one away. Stuttgart, Brest, one home, one away. You get what I'm saying? Each team gets that. Eight games, the top. If I'm not wrong, eight teams go through. And teams 9 to 24 play a two-leg sort of playoff. And the winners, the eight winners of the 16 teams playing, make it through. The other eight get knocked out, obviously. And then the winning eight join the top eight in the round of 16 and then the same format continues, quarterfinals, semifinals, finals, right? Teams that finish from 25th to 36th, automatically out, no Europa League, no Conference League football. Yeah, it's just straightforward. So, my thoughts on this. Personally, I have really believed that there isn't a need to change something that isn't broken. That doesn't need to be fixed. That isn't a need to do so. But we have to accept that. We have to accept that it is going to change. It has to change because it's UEFA. It's going to change anyways. It doesn't have to be changed, but you get what I'm saying. So, there's not really a lot we could do because it's going to change. So, there isn't a point in you know having a spike, complaining a lot. Because it doesn't really matter anyway. So for me, let's see how this plays out. Let's see how the Champions League season will be. Because if it's more entertaining as a whole, I'll be all for it. Because after all, it's about the entertainment, isn't it? It really is about that. Obviously the nostalgia, 
that we'll miss for sure. But it does really depend if it's a change for the better or for the worse. And only time will tell. But let me know what your thoughts are on the draw. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know who you guys think will win the Champions League as well. And obviously, like I said earlier on, if you guys teams are on there, let me know who your team got. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel on already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.